So who are you? Hi, I'm Yaakov Cohen. I'm CEO of Mainsoft. Yeah. I've been CEO for the past 10 years. And uh, today we are focused on uh, enterprise collaboration, trying to deliver Web 2.0 technology to the mainstream enterprise to really enable people to collaborate within the enterprise. Well, I, I found your tool very interesting because it, it hooks together old school PowerPoint and Word docs and spreadsheets in with the new school Google Docs uh, methodology, which I'm totally in a Google Docs now. I'm, I've converted my life over to being online and not loading software at all. But I, I still see a lot of people who use old email and old and uh, you know Microsoft Office. And it's, you, you found a really interesting way to merge the two. Tell me about it. That's all, this is all what Harmony is all about. It's about Harmony between old and new, between the cloud technology and the desktop, and really helping people to, which are mainstream users, which are not technically proficient, to adopt this new technology. So Google Docs is great. This is a great way to collaborate and to have a single copy of, of a document. And we decided to focus first on documents because that's a mundane day-to-day -day task of people. And they are working on documents. So we wanted to enable people to be a lot more efficient in the way they collaborate on documents. Yeah. And we found that they use attachments and they are messing up with multiple copies of the same document. So we wanted to use Google Docs, which is a great way to have one document in the cloud, a single copy. And, but we wanted to bring Google Docs to the day-to-day -day working environment of the enterprise folks, and that's Outlook. Yeah. So that's how we came to this idea to give a very easy access to Google Docs within email. So what happens, so if somebody s sends you three Word Docs or a, a Word Doc and a spreadsheet, what does it look like on your screen? What happens? So what happens, you got all these attachments coming to you, but Harmony is here to bring this harmony between Google and Microsoft, and you can simply drag and drop these free documents to your to Google Docs, yeah. and they get converted to the Google Doc format. Yeah. And you don't, it doesn't even look like it's up on the cloud. It just is another icon it's on your closed. screen. It's closed. Exactly. That's the issue of the, of the cloud, is that it's there in the browser. You need to log on. You, don't, you, may, not, you may or may not remember the URL. You may or may not have it in your favorites now. It's just right in your face. It's in every Outlook window. A, a new, new email window, Google Docs is here. Within a, a, a received email, you got an Outlook window, Google Docs is here. So we bring the cloud to the user. So if I'm, if I'm an old school user and I sent you these three documents and you convert them to Google Docs using uh, Mainsoft Harmony, do I see anything change on my side? So do you let me know, hey, these things are in the Google Cloud now? Yeah, so I can send you an email. Now yeah. what I can do, I can send you an email and send you the links to these docs. And I can say, hey, Robert, you know, let's collaborate. Let's really collaborate and let's have a single copy of this document. And I just drag and drop the links from Google Docs. Yeah. And you're going to have access to the link. And from now on, we are, we, we've got rid of attachments. Wow. We now we are working in the cloud. Okay, so you, you now I'm I'm halfway between old and new because you got me sort of in a, the Google world, and I still have all these PowerPoint slides and things on my desktop. So I, I still want to send more stuff to you. You know, I got to send you a report now. I might have it in a doc format on on my uh, computer, but I'm still not totally sold on this Google thing. So, so uh, how do I send you? Uh, so Harmony what, has something what for you. What does it let me do? <laughs> so Harmony, one, one thing we do also, we try to help the user to adopt, to adopt the cloud. Okay. Our whole philosophy is to bring the cloud to the user rather than asking the user to go to the cloud. Yeah. So for example here, you do a new window, as you would do, you type my email address, and then you, drag, you just take from your my documents, you take a bunch of docs like PowerPoint, and you send it to me. But then Harmony will suggest. He won't enforce you, but he will at least suggest that Harmony will upload these documents for you on your Google Docs folder and send links rather than attachments. Which saves both of us a lot of time, but it also now gets us into the collaboration exactly. world where we're dealing with one document and 
all the changes that are happening on the cloud. Exactly. So we are really taking people, we are spoot feeding the cloud to the mainstream user, trying to tell them, okay, let's collaborate together, see the benefits, rather than taking an approach which is a little more distant or arrogant towards the mainstream user, let's get them to use the cloud and to see the value. Yeah. Um, what is it that I get? I have to download some yeah, software so and load it It's into a free it? software, actually. Okay. So it's totally free, and we are very, very serious about keeping that, having a, a free version for individual users. Okay. We'll have also an enterprise version for the enterprise. And it's an Outlook sidebar, which brings Google Docs within Outlook. And it's at harmony.mainsoft.com. And just it's a free Outlook, download. is it also Lotus Notes? It's, we also support Lotus Notes, exactly. Okay. On Lotus Notes, we actually bring SharePoint into Lotus Notes, okay. and we bring also SharePoint into Outlook. So we have three combinations. Google Docs to Outlook, to Outlook, SharePoint to Outlook, and we have SharePoint to Lotus Notes. Now, how do you guys make money if you're giving away this uh, functionality for free? So we are... It sounds like you're helping Google a lot, but are you getting paid to help them? Or? So first, we believe that you first need to give before you can take and get. Uh, and, but actually, we, are, we have an enterprise version already of our Lotus Notes, our SharePoint integrator for Lotus Notes. That's part of the Harmony product suite. That's we, it's, it's something we sell. Yeah. And we're going to come up later this year with uh, our uh, Harmony for SharePoint, where we have the SharePoint functionality, which will be also enterprise. Yeah. Uh, and the idea is that we don't want to nag user with a premium version. We want the individual user to be able to have access to the features and to have a, a great experience. But we want to help the enterprise to deploy centrally, to provision features, to integrate to some uh, enterprise systems like yeah. instant messaging. So that's what the enterprise version will be all about. But we want to stay uh, very focused also on, on the community because we think that's the only way to do great software. The only way to do great software is to build a community around your product. Yeah. One problem with Outlook is that I already have some toolbars loaded. I have Gist and I have Zodney loaded. Are there going to be contentions between toolbars, or is it just going to can Actually, it sit in the background and, and still work, or do I still do yeah, I? Yeah. First, you can you can toggle the, yeah. the the sidebar, so it's not taking all the time, all the estate, only when you want it. We work really well with Zodney, so we tested with Zodney, and I think Microsoft did a really nice job to get a solid uh, architecture around the uh, Outlook uh, plugins. Yeah. And now you will have the Outlook social connector where Microsoft is kind of doing the same way, bringing social networks within email, like Zobni did. So yeah. there is this trend of companies helping, bringing a lot of social features and collaboration features within email. Uh, what formats of, work, of Docs does it w work with and how because Google Docs doesn't have all the features, like if Google Spreadsheet still doesn't have the features of uh, Microsoft Sp of Spreadsheet, right? So how, how does it convert, how accurately does it convert from one to the Yeah, other? Google does a, a pretty fair job of converting um, Office documents to uh, open format documents. And, but they also are doing a good job now to support native Office formats. And uh, what we are doing, you know, one thing we are doing, we are helping the user with uh, conversion. For example, if I drag and drop a document from Google Docs to my desktop, it will be converted to Office Docs if that's my favorite format. I can set up my favorite format. It can be open document, it can be PDF, it can be Office. So I drag and drop this, ex uh, this, this uh, Google spreadsheet, it becomes an Excel spreadsheet because on my desktop, I'm going to probably want to use Excel. Um, but when I take it from my desktop to Google Docs, we'll convert it back to Google Docs, and we are doing all this using the Google Docs conversion engine. Does it warrant, if I have a really monster spreadsheet that I've worked a lot, a lot with, with a lot of formulas and a lot of stuff, m there might be a feature in there, like I, if I use Visual Basic Script, it won't convert over to the Google Docs. Does it warn me and say, hey, there's a feature that you've used? That's up to Google, really. Yeah. We, we use their engine for web services. Google uh, exposes web services to give you access to their engine. While using their engine, if they find an error and they alert you, we'll expose that error, we'll get it back from the web service and expose it to you. Yeah. But we are, we are trusting Google for the conversion. They do a, a really good job there. But you always have a choice of sp yes. sending along the full document. Or yeah, you, uh, the other thing is you can press the Alt key. We encourage people to use links. But again, we are pragmatic. If you press the Alt key before the drag and drop, 
it's going to be a physical attachment. So you can go back to your bad habits. Yeah. We will close an eye for this time, but next time, please send a, send a link, not an attachment. Got it. Since we're here, we're here in uh, Tel or uh, close to Tel Aviv in Lod, uh, Israel, and, and we're visiting companies. What's it like here, and how are you making the shift from a, a job? Well, you, you used to be a development shop for all sorts of fun stuff, you know, including stuff for Microsoft. And what's it like trying to shift your company around? Yeah, it has been it has been a, a really uh, interesting time. We uh, we have been doing cross-platform tools. Yeah. And we started learning about uh, collaboration when we worked with IBM and on Lotus, with Lotus Notes customers. And we see the huge need to bring the collaboration environment within the context of email. And uh, we basically restarted the company around that concept. Uh, we bring some new money from the Catalyst Fund. And uh, it has been going great because people in enterprise are really eager to get serious about collaboration. I think SharePoint has done a great job there yep. to bring collaboration to the masses. And, uh, and we added Google Docs and Outlook as we come along. So with Harmony, we have seen that there is really a, a, a strong concern within enterprise to get going with collaboration. But our way to do it is to communicate directly with users. Yeah. And that's what we, we have done Harmony as a free product because we really want the mainstream users to feel how the cloud can have an impact in their daily life, how working with links rather than attachments can be a lot easier, and how they can adopt things like social networks in a way which is meaningful to their daily working life. Yeah. Um, why Israel? Why, why, is, why is this a stronghold for uh, this kind of software? Well, Israel is great for technology. I mean, I spent five years in Silicon Valley and, and I had a great time there. We wanted to come back to, to Israel and I found that there is just enormous amount of innovation. Uh, there is a very strong entrepreneurship also, uh, spirit. You know, people are starting companies. And you, I, I got the same type of stimulation that I used to get uh, in, uh, in, in the Valley. Yep. I found the area and it's very stimulating. So, but I still miss the valley. I travel quite a bit, and uh, just trying to get best of both worlds. Yeah. Um, what about what about uh, the new Office 10 formats that are coming along? Are you going to work with those? Yeah, it's really interesting what's going on with uh, Office 2010. Yep. You know, SharePoint is now part of Office, so a lot of more people will even be adopting SharePoint because now it's really embedded within the Office suites. And uh, we'll be supporting Outlook 2010 pretty soon. And it's going to be interesting to see also how the Office web apps compared to Google Apps and how people are going to migrate to that. Uh, we still think that uh, you know, Google, people will want to use the cloud and the Google Cloud. And people are going to still be using Office. So trying to help people migrate to the new technology. I think Microsoft is kind of also going there, trying to bring people to the cloud yeah. with the Office web apps and stay, staying in the comfortable environment of the well-known office suite. So we'll be there supporting both SharePoint 2010 and Outlook 2010. Very cool. Well, thank you very much. It's a really cool tool. So Thank you, Rob. All right. Take care.